Okay, we have with us today uh, three individuals who participated in the International Special Olympics in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uh, and this uh, today we want to uh, talk with each one of them and let them tell us a little bit about their experience uh, in Baton Rouge and what they thought about the games and actually what they did as far as participation and if they were fortunate enough to to uh, win. So uh, would you uh, start with you? Would you tell us who you are and what you thought about the uh, International Games this year? My name's Nada Hyde, and my special thing is swimming. Well, how did you do in swimming when you were uh, in Baton Rouge? And did you have a good time in Baton Rouge? Mm-hmm. Did, uh, did you participate with a lot of other people from a lot of other different states and countries? Yes, sir. Uh, did, all, did everybody from uh, Alabama have a real good time? Yes, sir. Well, that's great. That's great. Okay, and who do we have here? Could you tell them uh, who you are and where are you from? What's your name? My name is Dexter Burks. I'm from Ozark. You're from Ozark, Alabama. Okay, did, uh, did you enjoy Baton Rouge? Yes, sir. What uh, what did you participate in? Swimming and um, diving. You participated in swimming and diving. How did you do? I came in first and second. You came in first and second. I came in first in swimming? Mm -hmm. First in swimming and second in diving. Yes. Well, that's great. I know you're real proud, and I know that you had a real good time. Did all the other uh, individuals went with you, all all have a good time? Yes, sir. Did you meet a lot of other people from uh, some other countries and from a lot of other states? Yes, sir. That's real good. Okay, what's your name? Could you tell us where you're from and what's your name? Uh, Dickie Coker from Montgomery, Alabama. Dickie what? Coker. Coker from, from Montgomery. What did you participate in? Basketball. Basketball. Did, how did Alabama do in basketball? We came in seventh place. But... Thank each of you. I want to thank each of you for participation today. And, and uh, these are three of our Alabama Special Olympics who participated in the International Games July the 12th through the 18th in Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana. In the next few minutes, we want to share with you their experiences and, and also the other participants that, uh, that uh, went to Baton Rouge from Alabama. And uh, today also, we want to thank uh, each of you who are watching this program for all that you have done in your participation over the years in promoting Special Olympics here in Alabama, because we do have one of the finest programs in the nation with some 20,000 uh, individuals participating in our program.
professional Olympians, parents, coaches, and guests. You is here because of your spiritual strength, your excellence, and your athletic achievements. The light of your lives now illuminates the ancient values of these games. Skill, courage, sharing, and joy. In you, we see the best of our own humanity, and by your presence here, you honor us far more than we can ever honor you. Torch being relayed to Baton Rouge's own Freddie Lee, who will take the torch on the last leg of his journey. Special Olympians this evening. I grew up in a family that believed that individuals can make a difference and each of us should try. The people that are really making a difference are the Special Olympians. And so it is my pleasure and privilege to now officially announce the 1983 International Special Olympic Games are hereby open. Good luck, Special Olympians. torch out of the stadium to begin its journey to Los Angeles and the 1984 International World Olympic Games.
Special Olympics encourages the mentally handicapped to reach for a goal. All they need is a little help from a friend. Volunteer to help the Special Olympics. It touches all of us.